Now, that lamb there, where you can see the, his hips sticking up, him, he's not doing very well. Okay, he's uh, the same lamb that I, he's the same lamb that I picked up yesterday, and he's one of Becky's triplets. So, I'm going to take him in and give him a feed. So I think he's just not getting enough food. All the other lambs are looking very well. Aren't they? Yeah. So this is going to join. Aren't you? Little man, you're going to join the crowd in the milking parlor. So, why did you think it was a good idea to go in here? Come on. Get out. Yeah. And why did you think it was a good idea to go in here? Come on. There's water out here and you had water in the orchard. Beautiful sunny day after yesterday's blustery, windy, wet storm. Come on, pups! Puppers, come on! Come on, Spats! Clever boy! Yeah! Yeah! Almost breakfast time for puppies. Isn't that right? You're being so good. Yeah. 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 So, here's this massive lamb. It's the one that was lost yesterday. And its mouth is already cold. So, I'm trying to warm it up. not easy to get the lamb to drink. The puppies are playing with the box behind me, which is what that strange noise is. So this lamb has lost a bit of its suck, so I'm trying to get it to um, drink something. Come on. Its mouth is cold, which means it's uh, hypothermic. So, you're very cold, aren't you? Come on. Come on. Uh. 
don't know how much milk is going in and how much is going out, but some of it's going down the inside versus a lot that's coming out. Oh, come on, mister. Come on. Probably should have taken you in last night, but I thought you'd get a good suckle from your mother. warming up. That's from the milk. This lamb is too big and too old to tube with the uh, warm sustenance. So, come on. I mean, I could tube it, but it might be a bit of a struggle. Puppies sure are making a racket. Look at all that. So much of this is just running straight down, creating a puddle on the floor. Okay, mister. I think I'm gonna have to um, try and tube you because you're not sucking. So once I get warm liquid into his belly, it will hopefully help him out. Anyway, I'll set up the tubing and then do a video of that so you can see what I do to tube a mature lamb and hopefully we'll get this fella to live because he's on the road to not wanting to live. So, here's hoping that this will work. The tube is long enough to go all the way down into his stomach. Hey, you guys, chill. So... to see if there's any air in that, and there's not. So I'm in his stomach. This is not easy to do one-handed. No, little fella. No, don't eat it. Ah, bugger. Oh, you didn't chew it, okay. I'll put it back down again then, so. No, don't chew it, please. Stop chewing. Stop chewing. Okay. There. Okay. Well, I got, what, 60 and 60. You've got some food in you. Hopefully that will warm them up. I'd love to do another, get some more in you. Well, your mouth is definitely warmed up. So that's a good sign. His mouth was absolutely freezing cold when I brought him in. So uh, he was getting hypothermic. So you're recovering. Yeah, you're so quiet. I might just try 
a second go of this. Just get that last little bit in there. Would be good. No, don't chew. I'm trying to keep him from chewing. He doesn't like that. Okay. He's trying to chew. Wow, that went everywhere. My fingers are in his mouth, so he's chewing my fingers. So I might get some more of this in. Yeah, you can chew my fingers. Excellent. Let's get that last little bit in. Okay, you've got sharp little fucking teeth. Okay, so there we go. Now we'll wait and see if this little fella fully recovers. It has now lovely warm milk in its belly. It's got food. He's not feeling very jolly, as you can see. Not very lively as a lamb should and the difference you could see in the lambs out in the field were they have lovely round back sides whereas this poor fella his um, you can see the pins of his hip bones right here you can see how he's not rounded like the other lambs and you can also see if you look at him sideways he's kind of hunchy you see how he's kind of hunched up? And that is a lamb that isn't feeling very well. So that, my friends, hopefully, this little fella will make it now. Isn't that right, Inca? Are you gonna clean up the floor now of all the milk I spilt all over me? Well, he's standing up, warming himself up next to the aga. So hopefully, this is a good sign. He's saying he's enjoying the heat, I guess. I've been out for a half hour doing other jobs and came back in. So things are looking up for the little man. He's actually a really huge lamb. So. Inca's cleaning up his face with all the spilt milk. She's such a mama to lambs. It's so funny. Whenever we've had lambs in here that are trying to resuscitate in the bottom of the aga, the, that door there behind the puppy's cage is the aga door we use, oven we use to resuscitate lambs. But this Lamb is much too big. You've come to say hello. You beautiful kitty, Marley. Miss Marley. Yeah.